Look, there are so many things to love about Descript. Another it's one. never been Another easier one. to create and edit videos and podcasts without having to have a whole lot of technical editing knowledge. However, as much as I love Descript, there are a few things that I think it's missing that I'm just going to put into a video and call it my Descript wish list. These are the one, two, three, four, five, six things that I think would make Descript the perfect video creation tool. Now, this is not a video all about things I don't like about Descript. It's not that at all, but... I do and I say it used to be easier to hit record into Descript and come out with a great looking, great sounding video. And at some point in the last couple of months, it's like they dropped support for some of the hardware ways that you can connect your camera to Descript to record. And I don't know if this has anything to do with, yes, they acquired Squadcast. You can record into Squadcast. It works great, but it's an extra step to record that when you're recording a solo talking head video like this, I don't need the extra step. And I liked the way that it worked before and now it doesn't. So for example, I pointed this out in my last video. It doesn't matter if I'm using my Streamer X to connect my camera or the Elgato Cam Link to connect my camera. I get these weird um, dark ghost-like shadow images. You don't see them happening here because I'm not recording into Descript in this video. I'm recording into Tella and I'm doing so by way of my camera connected to the Rode Streamer X. So I don't know what changed. I don't know if there's something Descript did developmentally that made some of these other like hardware things not work, but what does work? I mean, this, this is an honest question. What can you connect your computer and your camera together to work to um, record into Descript? Like, is there anything? There's a long list of unsupported hardware that you can go ahead and you can add the Rode Streamer X to that list because it ain't working. Now, it's not a deal breaker. I'm still uh, an advocate for Descript. And at the end of the day, you don't even really need software to record videos. You can just hit record on your camera and record directly, you know, into your SD card and then import that to your computer and bring it into Descript. I just really liked how easy it was and just the fact that it worked before. Number two, this is something I really wish for because you know how we have the drive area. We have all of our projects. They're all in one place. Yes, we can put our projects in folders, but I have files and assets and things like that on my hard drive, my external hard drive that I wish I could somehow create a shortcut to a Descript project on my hard drive. So I could just double click it and it would open that project in Descript because sometimes I'm gathering B-roll or I take a screenshot of something that I know, oh, I'm going to throw that into such and such YouTube video and I throw that into a folder for that video. I wish there was a way to like link the two, kind of like with Google Drive. I can go through my Google Drive folders in the finder of my Mac, double click on a Google Doc file, it'll open. I wish we could do that with Descript project files because it would make organ organizing and keeping all project files together um, and just make it really easy to access those things. Number three is the audio editing capabilities that we have or don't have really. So uh, this encompasses a couple of different things, but I am not an audio engineer. We've talked about this before and I just want to speak into my microphone and know that it's picking up the audio. And then I really want Descript to auto adjust everything. And I know if you use Descript, you're like, Meredith, it does. We have studio sound. We have the auto leveling feature. And yes, there are actually a ton of audio effects and audio adjustments and things that you can make. We have a compressor, we have a limiter, we have EQ. Um, I kind of want it to happen automatically. Is that too much to ask? Studio sound is great 
if you have background noise. Here's what I'm finding. I don't have a particularly sound treated room, but it's not terrible. I'm in the basement of my house. There's a lot of HVAC going on. There's some perhaps hum that might be happening around me, but I'm not recording in a coffee shop or bus station. And so the ability to filter out background noise, I don't really need that in studio sound. What I need is for Descript to auto level the whole entire project all at once. Okay, so as I'm editing this, I realize I know there is a setting in Descript that is automatic volume level. So I have that turned on. And there's also a setting for each project, project settings, where you can also just like double check, do I have automatic leveling on? I'm gonna hit um, record into script. Okay, so this is me talking normal into the microphone, into Descript. Microphone is here. And this is me getting really loud. And this is me talking really, really low. I'm moving a little bit closer, further away, but not that much but I'm changing the volume of my actual mouth. Or I could get closer, or I could get further away. I'm such a dork. Okay, so I'm gonna hit show timeline and I'm gonna open this up a little. Okay, now you can tell from the waveforms that it's not auto leveled, right? You can see that this part here is really loud. Where I got loud, it's loud. And if I hit play, let's look at our audio meter over here and see um, whether it peaks. So we are peaking there. We're getting a, like quite a bit of yellow and even like just there was just a little touch, just a little touch of red. Just make everything smooth. I don't want peaks. You can auto level each clip, but that just auto levels that clip. I want this clip in this clip to know whether one is high and one is low and just make them adjust. And we have all of these presets and stuff, but I don't know what any of these things mean. Plus you can adjust all of this stuff manually. It's like if you have the AI capability to make studio sound what it is, which is really effective, if you're in a bus station, why can't we have the rest of studio sound like to actually make the sound that is coming through, um, uh, you know, I don't know, auto audio engineered. Uh, we need an audio engineer AI inside of Descript. And I think you're capable of doing it. I want the AI to do it for me. Since we're talking about audio, okay, I know we have this tiny little hairline sized audio meter over here. Tell me how you're going to give us all of these audio effects options. And we're talking about threshold and ratio and attack and release and all that stuff. And you're not gonna give us the actual number of decibels on the meter. I'm pretty sure I read on the website that the meter, this line here is from negative 30 decibels to zero. So you can eyeball it. There's another thing that I'm also begging for that I know I've seen other people really strongly request from Descript, but I'll get to that in just a second. I also wanna mention animations, moving stuff on your screen. Um, I wish that it was easier to do. I wish that I could pop in and pop out, meaning do a little zoom in, zoom out on the screen. Yes, you can do that. You can simply set some scenes and pop in and pop out and whatever. And I can say, okay, from right here, we're gonna do this. And here we're going to come under layout and do a little pop in thingamajiggy, right? And it's gonna go like this. It'll pop in, it'll pop back out. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But what if we could do a little slow ease in and maybe a quicker ease back out instead of a jolted, jagged, like cut, cut, cut. How about some easing animations? Now I know we have this animations panel, right? We have zoom and pan, we have zoom in, we have spin. Who's using the spin? Maybe we could get some more animation presets in here because I've been taking my edits into Premiere Pro to 
polish them up basically i'm using a like an effects pack that um, kelsey premier gal created that makes it really easy to take a talking head video and zoom in zoom out make it polished, make it fancy. I feel like Descript could do this really easily. And I bet I could use the templates feature to, I don't know, maybe create some animations like that. But honestly, every time I go to use the templates, this is what I get. These are templates I created. I can't see them. So it's just like a dartboard trying to figure out what I'm looking for. But I said this wasn't gonna be a complaint video. I would love to see some animations more animations, more sort of like easing, pop in, pop out, um, just to make a talking head video a little more polished. And lastly, I would love to see a way to do J cuts and L cuts. And I know this has been discussed before. I've seen a lot of people ask for a way to do this. This is another thing that I do when I bring my projects into Premiere Pro to polish them up is to just smooth out the the cuts with very subtle L cuts and J cuts. So what you see when you watch my videos is not just one long video that I make no mistakes. I in fact have a lot of cuts. It's just like the way that I record, that, that's just how it is. And um, you know, I'm okay with it, but sometimes the audio from one clip to another clip when there's a cut there, it can be a little bit uh, jarring and it's really easy to to give a little bit of an overlap of the audio. It makes it for a first smoother transition. They're just like teeny tiny, but sometimes you want a piece of audio to sort of like linger in the viewer's ears while the new visual part of the video is already coming in, right? And those are L cuts and J cuts, and I wish we could do that in Descript. That is maybe at the top of my, um, wish list. There could be a button that's just like L cut or J cut and you somehow have like a little slider preset type of a thing kind of like you do with the audio over here these little sliders where you select well how many frames do you want this cut to cut in. Just make it a button. As a fan of the software it's so close to being perfect and some of the things that I think are missing are things that actually are barriers for somebody who's new to creating videos, I, I think Descript could remove some of those barriers. And if you want more videos about Descript tutorials and how my Descript workflow works, stick around, hit subscribe. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments 